Generosity Generosity is another quality which, like patience, letting go, non-judging, and trust, provides a solid foundation for mindfulness practice. You might experiment with using the cultivation of generosity as a vehicle for deep self-observation and inquiry, as well as an exercise in giving. I am not talking solely of money or material possessions, although it can be wonderfully growth-enhancing, uplifting, and truly helpful to share material abundance. Rather, what is being suggested here is that you practice sharing the fullness of your being, your best self, your enthusiasm, your vitality, your spirit, your trust, your openness, above all, your presence. Share it with yourself, with your family, with the world. By practicing mindfulness of generosity, by giving and by observing its effects on ourselves and others, we are transforming ourselves, purifying ourselves, discovering expanded versions of ourselves. You may protest that you don't have enough energy or enthusiasm to give anything away, that you are already feeling overwhelmed or impoverished. Or you may feel that all you do is give, 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 and that it's just taken for granted by others, not appreciated or even seen, and that you use it as a way of hiding from pain and fear, as a way of making sure others like you or feel dependent on you. Such difficult patterns and relationships themselves call out for attention and careful scrutiny. Mindless giving is never healthy or generous. It's important to understand your motives for giving and to know when some kinds of giving are not a display of generosity but rather of fear and lack of confidence. In the mindful cultivation of generosity, it's not necessary to give everything away or even anything. Above all, generosity is an inward giving, a feeling state, a willingness to share your own being with the world. Most important is to trust and honor your instincts but at the same time to walk the edge and take some risks as part of your experiment. Perhaps you need to give less or to trust your intuition about exploitation or unhealthy motives or impulses. Perhaps you do need to give, but in a different way or to different people. Perhaps most of all you need to give to yourself first for a while. Then you might try giving to others a tiny bit more than you think you can consciously noting and letting go of any ideas of getting anything in return. Initiate giving. Don't wait for someone to ask. See what happens, especially to you. You may find that you gain a greater clarity about yourself and about your relationships, as well as more energy rather than less. You may find that rather than exhausting yourself or your resources, you will replenish them. Such is the power of mindful, selfless generosity. At the deepest level there is no giver, no gift, and no recipient, only the universe rearranging itself.